It's raining out again. Welcome back to the Monsters of Rock show, and it is a pleasure to welcome back to the studio, as it always is, my very good China, Lemmy of Motorhead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lemmy, better than the first one, wasn't it? Much better than the first one, yes. <laughs> Since the last time we had you on the show, a lot has been happening for the band. Namely, first and foremost, is that you've released a brand new album called Rock and Roll which was released while we were off the air, unfortunately, but we've got it here now and we're going to talk about it. Now, one of the most interesting features about this album, before we've even played it, is the fact that you've now got Filthy Phil, Filthy Phil Taylor, the animal, back on drums. Oh, true. Goodbye, Pete Gill. Hello, Filthy. What was the story there, Lemmy? Well, Pete was never really happy with the image. He was happy with the music, but um, he, he, I don't know. He, he's also a bit of a businessman. Well, he likes to think so, you know. He just, I don't know, he just got more and more unhappy with it. You know, as time went by and he finally just had enough and went. Right. But, um, I mean, I wish him all the best and all that. I mean, everybody says that, you know, it's a terrible cliche. But uh, we actually still... He sent me a postcard from Greece. Really? Yeah. Takes all his holidays in Greece. <laughs> Keeps sliding out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I mean, with no, no offence meant to Pete Gill, Filthy Phil, for me, was always the motorhead drummer. And it's a real pleasure to see him back in the band. <coughs> did, yeah. did it make a great deal of difference to you while you were recording this album? Did it feel like old motorhead? Kind of, yeah, but it, also his attitude's changed very much for the better because when he first left motorhead, he thought that he... That he had had a vision from God, you know, like, and he'd been taken off on a special um, trip for a special purpose of his very own, you know. And then about three months later, he realised <laughs> he keeps telling me he said, "I couldn't believe it." He said, "I realised that I was wrong. <laughs> I shouldn't have left," you know. Like. So um, it, it, about a year after he left the band, he came round the house because we kept in touch, like, for the odd, you know, knees up. Mm. And he came round and he said. Um, if ever Pete leaves, you know, can I come back? And we all said, yeah, you know, if he ever does. And then a year and a half later, of course, he did, so... And back he is. Yeah, Thank didn't you. even have to phone him up. He was downstairs in the office <laughs> talking about <laughs> Listen, let's have a look at what Filthy Phil's been missing all this time. This has been a vintage motorhead for you now. This is Killed by Death. <laughs> Lemmy, since the album Rock and Roll came out back in the summer, you've been on the road, of course. Yeah. How's it been going so far? So far, so good, I guess. Uh, we, we just did an English tour, which was very gratifying. It, it was very well received everywhere, especially the Emma Smith gigs. Mm. Two shows sold out, it's great. It's, uh, carry on. No, 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 after you, Michael. It is your show. <laughs> cool. Is, is touring something you still relish, Lemmy, or is it something that gets, gets harder for you as the years go by? It occasionally gets harder as the years go by, mate, but we won't talk about that on a family show like this. Uh, no, touring's a thing that you... You have to get into the rhythm of it, you know. It's like the first three days of hell on earth, murder. First year you think, hey, it's easy, you know, bang. And then wake up next day and you can't move a muscle, you know. It's like riding a horse for the first time. You know? <laughs> then you get back into the rhythm of it, you know, and it's fine. I, th I think the less sleep you get and all that, is, the better you do it. It's funny. Yeah. Has it changed things now that Phil's back in the group? I mean, have you suddenly started getting wilder now? On it's this louder in the morning <laughs> <laughs> on the bus because you've got this terrible great clod up in feet, you know. I mean, everybody wakes up when Phil wakes up. Believe me, the windows are open, you know, the curtains are drawn out. Let's have some breakfast, boys, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, the, the new Motorhead single, which is called Eat the Rich, is the soundtrack to uh, a brand new film, which you've got a part in, yes? Yes, so I have. So just tell me, just tell me briefly what part you play, and then I'll talk. We'll talk to you about the film in a little bit. Uh, I play the part of spy, direct motorhead, roadie, a dope dealer, and hero of the Soviet Union. So in fact, there wasn't much acting involved Type at all. Casting. Really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a look at that brand new motorhead single. And this is called Eat the Rich. Mm -hmm. 